Hello everyone. So I hope you all are on your third revision series that we have started on Telegram group. And today is our first day, which uh, we have planned the third revision starting today. That is 23rd November to 7th of January, total 46 days. So in our today's target, we had physiology. And that is why I am putting up this video for all of you. But this, uh, let us discuss this question. So expect such questions, the lengthy clinical questions in your exam. The question is very easy, but looking at the length of the question, we get scared. So that's the reason that I am sharing such questions and videos with you so that to make you acquainted with such questions. Now, as I always say in lengthy questions, always start reading from the last line so that you know what the question is trying to ask. So the last line here says what additional information is necessary to calculate cardiac output in this patient. So when you read the statement, you know, we know that cardiac output is generally calculated as heart rate into stroke volume. That is one. But there is other formula also, which is based on the fixed principle. Right. So now in this question, we can get from the last line itself that this all has been given. And the question is asking about what else is required to calculate the cardiac output. So even without reading the entire history, which is there, I can save my time and solve this question fast. Right now, when we read the question, it says 54 year old man evaluated for exertional dyspnea that started six months ago. There's no associated cough or wheezing, no known history of heart disease, ECG, all, 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 all is uh, evaluated. And these are the results of the cardiac catheterization. So. We have arterial blood oxygen content, pulmonary artery diastolic, left ventricular diastolic, mean right atrial and venous blood oxygen content. And we can look from the options. There is no heart rate or stroke volume. So this formula is not they are talking about. We have other options. So we need to look at the calculation, the formula for fixed principle. So we can calculate cardiac output by fixed principle, which is cardiac output is equal to rate of oxygen consumption upon arteriovenous oxygen content difference. That means arterial oxygen content minus the venous oxygen content. So let us say for the heart, okay, for the heart. Now, what is getting your oxygenated blood to the heart is your pulmonary veins. So pulmonary veins will give you the arterial oxygen content. The venous oxygen content is basically what is coming to the right heart from the veins. And from the right ventricle, it is going to the pulmonary artery, which divides into right and left. So your pulmonary artery will be venous oxygen content and we know the pulmonary artery we can use swan gans catheter to calculate that so fixed principle basically becomes your invasive method of calculating cardiac output. So now what we need for fixed principle rate of oxygen consumption upon the arteriovenous oxygen content difference. Now, in the question, we have been given your uh, arterial blood oxygen content and the venous blood oxygen content has been given. So we can calculate the gradient, the difference between the two by subtracting. So what else we require in the formula is your rate of oxygen consumption. And that is why this is the answer that the additional information required would be rate of oxygen consumption. So this is the question which was based on your simple fix principle to calculate the cardiac output. Remember the other methods to calculate cardiac output could be your dye dilution technique or thermodilution technique. We can use MRI, we can use Doppler along with ECO. These are the other methods for calculating cardiac output. So stay tuned. I'll post another question based on the fixed principle, a numerical on the Telegram group soon. And I'm sure all of you would be able to solve that. So that's all for today. The physiology that is the fixed principle. Very, very important question. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. Keep studying. Keep revising and keep winning.